so we get on Rock and Roller Coaster. And you'll remember that cute little backpack that I got to take with us. That we paid like $15 for on Amazon. It was very tiny. It worked very well. But it was just me and Morgan, Nikki's little sister. Nobody else was with us. And we had taken the backpack and only would leave the backpack with other people. We took it with us so I would have my phone so that we could call them and meet up afterwards. Well, they have a nice little center pouch where they say little items you can stick in there. So I stick that in there. But it wouldn't quite fit. And it would have been fine if I had just left it alone. But like my brain just wouldn't. It was like it's going to fall out and you're going to lose your phone. And you're going to lose Nikki's glasses and Morgan's glasses. And all the money. And I was just like, oh my god, I have to get it. But my strap was already down. Like my, my restraint was already down. So I couldn't reach it. So rock and roller coaster goes three, two, one, and then you take off going zero to 60 in like a second. So it literally starts counting down and the strap was out and I was like, let me stick my foot in it. That way I can pin it to the ground in case it flies out. Well, the strap breaks naturally. And so I grab the broken strap and I pull and the other side breaks. So now I just have a loose strap and my purse is still in the bag and now it's half out. So now it's definitely going to fall out if we take off. And literally, we're, it goes three, two, and as it's going one, I reach forward, grab the mouse ear, and pull it into my lap, and then we take off, and I have the most beautiful picture, the most beautiful picture that possibly could come from it, of just sheer terror, because I really thought my purse was about to go flying into the abyss. Anyway, one strap is broken. The purse is still fine. It's still usable. It's just only got one strap now, so that's what happened to that guy. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Thank you so much to, for tuning in to Dark Nature Beauty today. I'm Andy, and as you know, we just got back from Disney literally today. We stopped in South Carolina last night, not South Carolina, uh, Savannah, Georgia, that one. We stopped there last night, we stayed there, and then we drove back. We had like another three hours to come back today. So we just got back into town like three o'clock today. It's like nine o'clock now. We've unpacked a little bit. Nikki took a quick nap because he was exhausted from driving for the past two days and from the fact that we walked 63 miles in a week all around Disney. But I can say I'm officially a Disney person now. I get it. I'm sorry that I ever doubted it before. Um, I think the plan for 2020 is we're going to spend four weeks in Florida going to Disney because we have season passes. So we're going three weeks over the summer and we're going to be there over my birthday in April, which I'm really excited about. I'm very, very excited to spend my birthday in Disney. Since it was my first time, I had to buy a ton of Disney stuff. So we bought a ton of Disney stuff. It was just amplified by the fact that we know we're spending a large quantity of time there in the near future. So yeah, we just, I was just on a crazy spending spree. With our season passes, we get 20% off at the parks. So we bought just so much, just an unfortunate amount, but it's fine. I'm excited about it. So I'm gonna do a Disney haul today. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we bought. Without further ado, we're gonna jump into it. The very first things that I want to show you guys, my brand new Disney purse since I broke my other one. I got two, by the way, cause I just have no self-control. So I got this really pretty, rose gold glittery one because we all know I love glitter and we all know I love rose gold obviously and then this was like a limited edition thing that they were doing and I went ahead and got the matching ears for it because I knew when we went back I wanted to at least have the matching ears for a couple of the days these are not cheap backpacks so I've gone ahead and decided it's really pretty I really like it I don't care who knows that I love Disney now because I'm a Disney person like I said so um I'm going to go ahead and carry this as my purse for a, probably a good little while because I really, really like it. And it's got just an absolute ton of room. I mean, that's all the stuff I normally carry in my, my purse minus my keys. And there's just an abyss of room still. Like I could just, I could practically ride in it myself if I wanted to. So anyway, the ears that we got at, um, from Amazon before we went actually held up really nicely. I loved them. They did not hurt my head at all. The only ones that kind of hurt my head were the Halloween ones, um, but I only wore them for a short period of time, so I was fine. But I got these and we actually picked these up on our very last day. I took the tags off to film this video, so I did not wear them at all in the parks. But we also got these on the Halloween, Mickey's um, Halloween party night. It's Maleficent ears, and I only saw them in one store. I love them. They're so adorable. The only thing about them is I wore them our very last day, 
they do hurt just a little bit. Um, the band itself is a little bit tight on my head and then this diamond likes to shift down as you can see and so it kind of pokes me in the forehead. I had to keep readjusting them and I, I mean obviously when we're riding the rides and stuff we, I would take them off because I didn't want to lose them. So my head had a little reprieve but by the end of the day I finally took them off but they're really really cute and I can wear them any year even though any time of year even though they're like a little bit Halloween-y. They're Maleficent so they're Halloween-y, they're dark like me but they also can be worn year round. Not that I really care. I'm the type of person who will wear Halloween stuff year round anyway, so it's fine. So those are the two headbands I got. I'm gonna leave this on the whole time because I don't feel like taking it off at this point. Since I mentioned I got two bags, I'll go ahead and show you my second bag. So my favorite Disney movie, Disney Pixar movie, is probably Toy Story. Um, I have a lot that I really love and a lot of characters I really love, but Toy Story has always had like a special place in my heart. Being in Toy Story Land, I was really excited. And so because of that, I wound up getting a bunch of Toy Story stuff, including this here Woody backpack, which is so cute. It's just daggum adorable. And like I said, these backpacks just have a ton of storage space. So I, like, we once again got this on the last day. So I didn't use it, obviously. But it's just, I'll take it out, I'll take all the good stuff out. And then when we go back to Disney, obviously, I will be carrying it because I've got quite a few Woody outfits. Plus, like, who wouldn't want to carry this? It's adorable. It's just so adorable. So, yeah. So we also, we picked this one up at the beginning of the trip because we realized really quickly, Nikki, when we did the cruise, did a really good job of bringing a smaller wallet that we could keep cash and just the, a card or some IDs or, or something in. He didn't bring it with him on this particular trip and I didn't have a wallet at all. I only have my credit card, um, like the protected wallet. I can't remember what it's called, like the UID or whatever it is. IUD, whatever. IED. That's, that's a what? that's a bomb. I, oh, is it? I have one of those protected wallets that keeps your credit card safe from like people who can scan them in your wallet or in your pocket. And we had so many cards. Like we had our passes. We had to have our we had to have a credit card. We had to have our uh, IDs. We had to have cash. So we wound up picking this up because it was like ten dollars, which for Disney, like I don't even know. It's so cheap. So, but it's just this cute little like billfold change purse slash I cannot talk tonight slash um like card wallet and we carried everything in it we had our season passes we had our IDs we had credit cards we had cash in here so it really worked very nicely we used this the entire trip but we picked this guy up at the very beginning and we'll definitely be using the same thing when we go back because it really was a very effective way for us to do it. Uh, so we got Nikki. He had like kind of like a cheapy little phone case before, but he designed his own Stormtrooper phone case. Um, unfortunately, we did not get to go into Galaxy's Edge. Both of us were very sad about it, but it's fine. Um, we, since we're going back in April, we're going to try and get back a little bit sooner than April, but probably not. We're going to go ahead and assume that April will be the earliest that we can get in. But we're going to be spending a couple days in the park um, when we finally get back to it because it opens literally next week and we were there this week and so we didn't get to go. But it was fine, but he did get to design his nice little Star Wars phone case and I really like it, he really likes it, it was really cool. And then they like printed it right there and there it was. So now we'll move into the spirit jerseys. Now I've seen about the spirit jerseys, I've never obviously owned one because I've never gone to Disney, I've never really been an avid Disney person, but now like I said, I get it now. I just understand, I've been enlightened. So, so we got, Together, we both got these. I got this one in a small, I think the other one, I think one's a small and one's an extra small. They run really big, so this is gonna be really, really big on me. But this is a really cute Haunted Mansion one. It does glow in the dark. If you can't tell, it's purple. On the back it says Haunted Mansion. And then this down here is the wallpaper from the Haunted Mansion. You can see that it's the pretty little wallpaper. And obviously you guys know I love all things Halloween. I love all things that are ghoulish. So obviously Haunted Mansion was one of my favorite rides. And uh, this shirt was so cute we could not get it. So we got those. And then, because it was, they had all their Halloween stuff out too. I got this one, which I'm so excited about. It's black glitter, and it is the Halloween spirit jersey. The words are in, like, candy corn, and Mickey said the pumpkin. I'm really excited about it. I know it's silly for me to get the spirit jerseys because, at least for right now, we're not planning on going back until it's warm, so I'm not going to wear them when we're in the parks. But I don't care. I'll wear them outside of the parks. So I'll bring them with me and sit in the hotel room wearing them. I don't care. I just love them. I'm very excited. 
So my final spirit jersey, like you said, I love me some Toy Story. So I got a really cute Woody one. But I'm really glad that I got it because it actually is one of my favorites. So not that I don't love them all equally. I do. We bought so much stuff. I'm so sorry, guys. Hollywood Studios was one of my favorite parts. It was my favorite park. That was definitely my favorite park. It had Toy Story Land, which was incredible. It was like being in the movie. It, for me, who that was my favorite movie. And I always pretend that like my toys would come to life and I always had imaginary friends. That was just absolutely a dream come true for me to be in an area that really kind of embraced that. Um, but all the rides overall, Tower of Terror I think was my favorite ride in any of the parks. So I really enjoyed Hollywood Studios, but aside from Hollywood Studios, I would say my favorite was probably Epcot, which is not really for the rides at all. It's more for the atmosphere of it. I liked being in the countries and <laughs> my whole mother's side of the family is German. My grandfather was a descendant of German beer brewers. So I love Germany. I love all things about Germany. I almost studied, almost was a German minor in college. And so there's just a lot of aspects of that that I really enjoyed. So Germany, while we were there, happened to be having a sale on some of their t-shirts and we bought a lot of them because they were on sale. Um, but we got a really good deal for them. Like this one was only 20. And then of course we got our 20% off for being season pass members too. And it says, Ich liebe dich. And it's got little German lips and everything on it. And I just, I really thought that was adorable. So I got that one. And then Nikki and I both got these. This one I think was like $18 before the discount. And the back is really the cool part. It's got all the beer steins on it. And like I said, Nikki got one too. And then we both got these as well. This one says Biergarten. And on the back, it's got the really pretty stein with a bunch of uh, cool German phrases in it. He got that one as well. When we went back to get my mom's um, Himalayan salt lamp, they had this on sale. And y'all know I love tacos. So I had to get my taco sore shirt. It was like $8. And I was like, yes, taco sore. So, so that is what I got. That's all of what I got, which is a lot. He got the two uh, matching Germany shirts. And then he got the Haunted Mansion spirit jersey. And he also picked up um, in Disney Springs they had like this really cool Japanese store and it had a lot of anime stuff and a lot of really affordable t-shirts for Disney prices. They were all like five, 10, $15 shirts, which is really cheap. So he got this one for like $5, um, but it's the Andy Warhol fragile shirt. And then he also got a Naruto shirt cause he's a weeaboo. But yeah, I think that's everything that the two of us bought. Uh, his sister got a couple things and his grandma bought a couple things, but overall, like that was our haul. We spend an unholy amount of money, an unholy amount of money. Whenever we make it to um, Galaxy's Edge, we're gonna spend even more money. So just prepare for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really was just very overwhelmed at how much I was in love with Disney and it, it was just a wonderful experience. I'm so excited to go back. I'm so excited for you guys to see all of the footage that we got while we were there because we just recorded the whole time. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like our, play, our page, please hit the subscribe button. We're really trying to push subscribers right now because right now that is what's um, keeping us from getting monetized, so. If you like it, please subscribe to us. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.